Oh man, that worked perfectly. It's caught on that wire cable. Check out this beauty. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna catch rats in the barn with a brand new, never before seen rat trap. It's a spring-loaded snare style trap invented by a genius. His name is Steve, and I've already featured several of his other trap inventions, including the tip and slip for catching mice. He also made a larger version for catching rats and a vacuum trap that catches a rodent and then sucks out all the air. And his latest trap looks like it's gonna work well. So let me show you how this works, then we'll set up the motion cameras in the barn and start catching rats. So here's the rat trap, it's so unique. I've never seen anything like it before. It's a snare style trap with a spring right here connected to a cable that forms a wire noose. This fits around a frame that goes inside a box. The rat tries to get the bait, pulls the trigger, releases a spring and gets caught. Now every detail about this trap is worked out to fine precision. To set it, you pull this arm around, it swings around in a circle but fits right here inside this plate. Then you tighten down the screw and lock it into place. That way this arm is fixed, it won't move. It's connected down below to a bait cage. We'll put peanut butter in there. When the rat goes inside this box and pulls on the bait cage, it releases a spring and gets caught. Now right now the spring is in the off position, but to set it, you take the cable. There's a little clip right here that connects to the trigger. But first, you have to pull it around the back here. There's a wheel or pulley. You have to stretch that spring. You can see how that works. And we'll take this right here and connect it to that trigger arm. Now the spring is pulled, you can see that. Here's the cable connected to the noose. And that slides in the front here in a slot. You pull this down. To get the bait, the rat has to stick his body or head in there. He'll pull on it and release. But first, you have to untwist the set screw. Now that trigger arm is free. As soon as you touch the bait cage, it releases a spring and catches the rat. Here's another view. I'll use my fingers. It's powerful, but not too powerful where it's dangerous. The rat will stick his head in there, pull on it, and it's caught. Ah. It's a really great trap that will trick the rats. Now before I set up this trap in the barn with motion cameras and try to catch wild rats, I'm first gonna test it out a few different ways. We'll use our pet rats, watch them go in there and set off the trigger, but don't worry, they'll be very safe. I won't place this cable noose in front, but I'm also gonna test it out with my new toy. Here's a remote rat. This is a cat toy, but we're gonna use it to test out traps. We'll place it in front and watch it roll inside. If it can get over this noose, hit the trigger and get caught just like this. Oh man, that worked perfectly. It's caught on that wire cable. So let's get our pet rats and test out the trigger system with a live rat. Then we're gonna try to get those wild rats in the barn. Okay, now we're gonna test out this trap with my pet rat, Judas, but he's not gonna get the snare. Instead, I put it on this toy rat. So go on in there and show us how the trigger works. Go in there, Judas. Whoa, that went flying. So it does work, it's very sensitive. Now Judas didn't know what happened, it kind of surprised him, but if it was a wild rat, it would be caught. So a friend mentioned they have a huge rat problem out in their barn and they wanted me to come out and deal with it. They have an adjacent chicken coop and the rats are stealing feed and causing a huge mess. So we're going to use this trap and try to get some of the rats. I have my trail cameras here and for YouTube I have to figure out how to set these up where I can get the shots without getting censored. Mm -hmm. Obviously using a noose isn't an option to show on YouTube but I'm gonna use a box here. And that way we can get a good idea to see just how this works. First, I have to set it up. We'll pull the spring around. Place in our snare. I have quite a bit of bait right on the trigger. I'll place our box in here. This may even help the rats might feel safe as they go in the tunnel. Then I'll back off that set screw. And this is all ready. Now I'm going to set up the motion cameras. I usually use two of them. That way if one of them misses the action, I still have the other one. So now the two motion cameras are set up on tripods at different angles, pointing at the trap, and ready to start recording when the rats show up and try to get the bait. Let's see what happens. Well, after reviewing the motion camera footage, I saw that a squirrel sabotaged us. That may be a weakness with this trap. 
is that it's so sensitive the slightest touch from the back or top will set it off. You want it to only go off when the rodent is inside and so we're going to make some modifications. The best solution is to set up the trap inside a cardboard box with just an opening in front so the rodent will go in there and hit the trigger. That way they can't get to the back. Just make sure the box is wide enough when the swings out it won't catch on the edge. But for filming I made a different box. Here it's longer, I have a screen in the front. That way it will keep all the rodents away and they can go inside and stick their head in there to get the bait. To set it, we'll put this around the pulley. Latch it in like before. Place it in the snare. And then slowly release it. And you want to make sure, put your finger right there, ah, that it doesn't swing out. Now this is way too narrow and if I don't have a slot for this arm to go out, it's not going to set off because as you pull this, it needs to swing out much further before getting caught. But I have a solution. I'll set this again and show you that. There, there's a big gap in the wire so I can set this. And I'm going to screw it in place that way no rodent can mess with it. Well the vibration set it off, I'll have to be more careful, but as you can see the setting arm swung out. I'm going to reset this and place it in the barn with motion cameras and see if a rat will go in there, pull the trigger and get caught. Well last night we got a great demonstration on just how well this brand new rat trap works. As you can see the setting arm is out and that snare is tight. The rats were lining up trying to get the bait. There was actually two rats inside the box when the first one hit that hair trigger and set it off. It was caught and the other one ran out. That was a very lucky rat. Overall this is a brand new rat trap design that I've never seen before and I really like it. You do need a few modifications especially to protect that arm. So setting it up in a box with a hole in the front is a really great idea. It will trick the rats, they'll feel safe, go in there, try to get that bait and instantly be snared. So thank you so much to Steve for coming up with all these great traps. I really enjoyed testing them out. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 900 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. Now I'm going to end the video by showing you what wild animals can enjoy a rat snack that we caught with this. That's why I don't like to use poison. If you use poison, you could kill animals you don't want to, including pets and wild animals. So let's set this up for a rat buffet and see what comes along and enjoys a snack.